I, I got to the dressing room a couple of hours early. I, I just remember breaking down. I just weeped for probably the best part of half an hour to 45 minutes. I was embarrassed and ashamed because I was supposed to be the captain of the team that was playing in two and a half hours time in front of 40,000 people at the SCG and I was weeping in the change rooms to the coach and the physio. Being in professional cricket now for almost 15 years, um, my mental health was something that probably I thought I was outsmarting. I think when I was just about to turn 30, I was diagnosed with clinical and major depression. I think when I was at my worst, I, I felt like everyone was judging. But that's just what happens when your brain's not thinking irrationally. I was so desperate to not feel like that anymore. Not that I wanted to control it, I just wanted to be okay with it. It got a lot worse first before it started getting better. I started keeping a gratitude diary. Each night or each evening, I'd try and find three things that I was really grateful for happening to me that day. Just trying to trick the brain so it's not doom and gloom when you first get out of bed. You know, life throws you a curveball and maybe something unexpected to see how some people react to some of their situations that they're put in in such positive ways, I just find that super inspiring. Hello. Hello, Sean. It's Moses Enriquez here from the Sydney Sixers, mate. How are you? No, oh, not bad. How are you? I'm good, thanks, mate. One of the biggest things that I've learned coming out of all of this is whether someone's going through a little struggle or a big struggle, the easiest way to have a positive impact on that person's journey is just to be kind. It makes things so much easier.